St. John Ambulance has said a total of 259 people in the queue to see the Queen lying in state needed medical support on Saturday. Meanwhile, London Ambulance Service has said in total, more than 1,000 people have needed medical treatment, with well over 100 being taken to hospital. St. John and Lot have been providing medical support as vast crowds gather to pay their respects after the death of the monarch, many queuing for more than 12 hours to do so. Overall, some 403 people in the ceremonial areas of London needed medical support on Saturday and 19 of these were taken to hospital, St. John said. The charity has voiced concern about cold temperatures overnight as people queue alongside the River Thames. Temperatures plunged as low as 4C for those waiting in line overnight on Friday and early on Saturday morning. Queen Elizabeth, many people braved plunging temperatures to queue through the night, image, Getty King Charles III thanks people in the queue, image, Getty, no expense spared, Undertaker explains preserving process behind Queen's lying in state as the Queen lies in state at Westminster Hall, many have questioned how Her Majesty's coffin can be publicly displayed for so long. One undertaker has taken to social media to explain the procedures of preserving the Queen for lying in state. Read more here. St. John said in the early hours of Sunday morning, from midnight to 7 a.m. some 98 people needed medical support, nine of whom needed to be taken to hospital. Thousands of volunteers for the charity have offered their support during the national period of mourning. It is helping to provide medical cover in Windsor and London where thousands have gathered each day since the Queen died. Hundreds of mourners in the crowds have needed medical support so far. Just in, trouble flared in Leicester last night amid fears of violence chilly looking people cute to pay their respects, image, Getty, Queen Elizabeth lying in state, route of the queue, image, express, around 1000 St. John Ambulance volunteers will be on duty during the state funeral in London and Windsor, including 800 who will be on hand to provide medical and first aid support. Unloss tweet earlier today together with St. John, they yesterday provided care to 368 people queuing to see the Queen lying in state. Of these, 55 of them were taken to hospital, bringing the total number of people seen to 1,078 with 136 people taken to hospital. In a statement published on the LOSS website on Friday, Director for Ambulance Operations Darren Farmer said, It's important that people joining the queue follow the advice provided on the government website, including bringing with them any regular medication, appropriate clothing, drink plenty of water and eat regularly. Don't miss Queen's Vigil, Royals opt for headbands over hats for key reason, comment food hack for perfect soft boiled eggs in 6 minutes, no boiling required, video best method to dry clothes without tumble dryer or heating radiators, expert, Queen Elizabeth Q, more than 1000 have needed medical treatment, image, Getty, trending if it's cold, it's important people wear appropriate clothing to keep them warm. There will be fixed first aid treatment centers provided by St. John Ambulance along the route, supported by cycle and motorcycle responders, medical response teams and ambulances from the London Ambulance Service. Our teams are always here to help if you need us, but we would ask that people follow advice, use our service wisely and contact your GP, pharmacy or NHS 111 where possible. Londoners can continue to help us by only calling 999 in a serious medical emergency, 